It's fantastic to be here today in the Institute of Directors to bring together clinicians, regulators, funders, representatives of companies, researchers and patient representatives to create that body of capability that will accelerate the development of ATMPs in the UK. Today's event has been the official launch of the second phase of our funding to help us focus on how we can establish increased numbers of clinical trials in the UK and to then take that forward into later phase trials and ultimately making these complex therapies available for patients as standard of care. I've been involved in the Advanced Therapy Treatment Centres uh, since their inception, since the first phase. It's, it's fantastic to now move on to the second phase and particularly to welcome our colleagues from, from London. So it really does mark an inflection point where we move on to the next very exciting phase of uh, implementation of these therapies. The ATTC network is really important for the UK because it demonstrates our cohesiveness, it demonstrates the depth of our talent and it also enables us to share, learn and collaborate with each other easily. There's such a massive unmet need for rare diseases, so research is so important and the work that the ATTC does creates such an opportunity to provide effective therapies. I wanted to be part of this ATTC event because it's important for me at the Foundation to be able to share OP's, my son's story, with the people who are making the decisions so they understand what it's like for a patient in accessing these kind of therapies. I think after today it's easy to see why the ATTC network is important. We have to collaborate and the ATTC really is the vehicle to do that. If we work together we can actually affect change and bring these therapies to patients whether it be in clinical trial or for routine delivery on a routine basis. So I think the real opportunity that the Advanced Therapy Treatment Centre Network offers is the chance to collaborate at a different level, bringing in key partners to allow us to work much more innovatively and cohesively together. We've got fantastic hospitals, we've got fantastic clinicians, and we've got amazing companies. It's that which brings international investors to the UK, enables us to then double down on this area where we've got particular global strength. We can't do what we need to do by ourselves. There's enormous amounts of talent in the UK and the network brings people together to cross-fertilise and to get the job done. I'm really excited to see the network go into this next phase and take the steps to make it bigger and better than it was before. We've got a big job to do over the next three and a half years, but I think with the existing ETTC centres and with London coming on board, I think we're up for the job. It's really important to get together because it's those sidebar conversations you just don't know you were going to have that spark innovation, that spark collaboration. That's why it's great that everyone's together today.